A group of amputees is spending the summer biking across America. One is an Albuquerque native. Along the 3,500 mile journey, they will visit dozens of Health South rehabilitation sites, hoping to lift the spirits of other amputees. Photojournalist Ryan O'Connor spent the day with them. I had a car wreck when I was 17. I'm an elective double amputee. Um, before I lost my leg, I wasn't thinking to myself, uh, let's go ride a bike cross country. <laughs> It's a very cool ride. It's very taxing on you emotionally, more so than physically. I had my accident that my son gave me their webpage thinking that I was just gonna wanna stay in the wheelchair and not do anything. I saw that they were gonna be coming through Albuquerque and I made a point to be with them. I get to see the country in a completely slower, different way. It's not about the ride anymore, it's about all the patients that we meet along the way and just being able to touch somebody's life and let them see that older people with amputations or life-changing in injuries can still get up and live an active life. Oh yeah, definitely. When we do the visits to Health South, you see all the patients and they all want to tell you their story and most people in Health South don't have a very happy story. They're feeling down on some disabilities. You know, get them, get them to change that attitude and get them right back up there. So life goes on. You know, we didn't ask to have amputations. So. Everything's intact. I'm all good. You know, just sitting in a wheelchair, uh, wasting away, not getting up. It's not right. It's not. You know, it, it shouldn't give up. Abel Cruz, who you saw riding in the truck, is the Albuquerque native. He'll get on the bike tomorrow to ride the Continental Divide. And tomorrow, they'll also visit the Health South in Albuquerque at 10 in the morning.